everyone. Welcome to my channel, Meditating Human. I am Tiffany, and today I wanted us to focus on um, just knowing that nothing can stop you. And we tend to put roadblocks, just bear with me, I am just fixing my light here, but we tend to put roadblocks in our own path. And then we allow those roadblocks to stop us from trying to accomplish what it is we want to accomplish. We start to see, or, you know, something happens that's outside of our control, or we think that's outside of our control, and we allow that to be an obstacle that we can't traverse, we can't move past not realizing that the only thing that's stopping us is us. You know, the only thing that's stopping you is you. We go back to, cre you know, we are the creators of our life. We are the creators of our world. And if that's the case, then we're the ones who's actually putting that roadblock uh, in our own path. Why? Why are we doing that? Is there a lesson we need to learn from this? Are we putting ourselves to the test? You know, how badly do you actually want this? Is there something that, you know, we don't think that we can be successful at this thing, so we are purposefully putting something in our path so that we can fail, so we have a reason not to move forward. I mean, and there can be a number of reasons why um, a particular item, a particular thing is happening. You know, it's up to us to be able to stop, take a look at why a thing is happening to us, and then resolve it and move forward. Not to see that obstacle as an obstacle, it's really an opportunity for us to do a deep dive into our life, do a deep dive into who we are, trying to figure out why we are allowing ourselves to stop us from doing what it is that we think we want to do, from you know finding our life's purpose. Why are we allowing ourselves? And, and, you know, and in saying all of that, using someone as an excuse does not work here because it's still on you. Well, Tiffany, they said that I couldn't do it and they said, and they said, and they said that's, it's, that it's impossible, it's hard, it's difficult, it's whatever. They said, they said. So an external source is telling you how to think and feel, which is now affecting, and because now you're taking that and you're internalizing that, it's now becoming your own and it's becoming your truth. And now you are acting from that point. You are acting from that space. So yeah, if you think what that person says is true about you not being able to do something, then it's absolutely true. There's nothing else I can tell you. It, because you believe it, it is true. Even though I'm outside looking in, I'm like, it's not true. Like you're letting someone hold you back. Those are all opportunities to see the truth, to see a thing for what it really is. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a lot of people don't wanna hold the mirror up to themselves because they don't wanna see who they really are. They don't wanna know the truth, right? It's easier for someone to blame someone else and then use them as an excuse as opposed to just saying, you know what? I'm scared to fail. 
like I want to do this and I'm doing it but now I'm in the middle of it and like I'm freaking out because I'm scared to fail. You know, courage is doing the thing in spite of being scared to do it. You know, courage is not the absence of fear. It's moving forward in spite of fear. Be courageous in moving forward in your life. Be courageous in what you want to do and who you are. And that type of power that type of energy can only come from you. It doesn't come from anywhere else. Nothing external can give you that power. That power comes from you because I can speak all of the words of positivity that you want to hear, but if you don't take that, you don't internalize that, and then you don't live from that space of truth, then it never becomes your truth. Whatever you internalize and wherever you work from and whatever you allow to become your truth, that's the space that you operate from. Again, we go with taking responsibility for ourselves, taking responsibility for our thoughts, and not abdicating our power, not giving our power away to someone else to say, hey, tell me what to think. And I'm going to go do that. Just tell me what to think. You know, we don't want to do that. We want to take our power back. We want to own our power. And we want to move forward in a manner, in a manner in which is true and honest for us. We forget that people's truths are different from person to purpose. Person, excuse me, from person to purpose. I must say purpose again. From person to person, people's truths are different from person to person because we've had different experiences because we're living different lives, because we need to learn different lessons. It's just going to be different. So you need to be, you need to be able to stand in your own power. You need to be courageous in what it is you want to do. And there will always be people around you that don't understand why you're doing a thing. Why are you doing that? That doesn't make sense. It's not for them to understand. It's for you. And as long as you understand it, that's all that counts. And you move forward from that truth, from that space. You move forward from that space because it's for you. It's not for anyone else to do anything with. So it's not a requirement that someone understands why you're doing something in order for in order for you to do it. Nothing can stop me today. Nothing can stop me from having an amazing day. The universe always works for my benefit. People are good to me. I love my life. Nothing can stop me from having an amazing, wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.